What's going on guys? Welcome back to a Diablo 3 video. As I said yesterday's video, I would get the season 13 first look up as soon as possible, as soon as it was announced pretty much. It was not being announced on the PTR, back on the PTR now. Not being announced, but it has been announced in the news section on Diablo. So we're going to have a quick look on that and go through it for you. As I say, it is season begins, blah blah blah. New cosmetic rewards. We've got the original helm and shoulders from the Conqueror set, which I still don't understand why they're doing that, but okay. A brand new series of portraits themes around the Imperius, which is quite cool. And then we also have a new bay called Blaine's Bay. That's some close up. That looks, that looks really nice. That. The bear, not so much, I don't like that sort of thing, but it still looks cool. But that portrait frame looks amazing. Moving on. Season Journey Rewards. Obviously we know all about the stash tabs. I still don't have all my stash tabs, so I will be trying to complete that. But we'll have a look at the conquests. Let's just open this up. We have got a Sprinter Conquest. Divinity. The Thrill, Curses, Master of Universe. Master of Universe, I'm never going to do that one. Curses, I will try my hardest if I'm doing a multi-shot demon on that. I'll def definitely, definitely try that one. 45 solo and set items, maybe try that one. Sprint, I'll probably not reach greater rifts solo. So there's my two I'm going to be doing. Divinity and probably Curses. That hopefully will get my season journey Conqueror. The Conqueror. Yeah. And then obviously the Hadrix gift. Da -da 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 -da. Complete the chapters. And we're going to have Might of the Earth for the Barbarians. Thorns of the Invoker for the Crusader. Shadow Mantle, which I always store for the Demon Hunter. Monkey King's Garb. Grace of Inarius. Raiment of the Jade Harvester and Firebird's Finery. So, Monkey King's Garb, is that? I'm not 100% sure if that's Wave of Light. Might be. Obviously, you've got Impale, Band of the Earth, which is Leapquake, Firebird's, which is still a decent one. Invoke, as said, uh, not a very good starter one, but I'm sure it's good enough. Jade Harvester, which is also a good set to start with, and Inarius. Inarius obviously had a bit of a bug last season, which then topped the leaderboards, or got to the top of the leaderboards. Don't know how strong it'll be now. And we'll drop down to the frequent asked questions. Season 13 begins on Friday, February 23rd at 5 o'clock in your respective time zones. What are the non-seasonal leaderboards being wiped? Non-seasonal leaderboards are tied to what we call eras, which we already knew. Each of which lasts up to 6 to 12 months. The most recent era began November 9th. Okay. And what will happen to all our seasonal era records? Starting with season 10, we removed all personal bests from season 1. Didn't play season 1, so that's alright. When season 13 arrives, we will remove all personal bests from season 4, okay? We'll be doing the same for personal bests from the previous era when the next one goes live, which is quite cool. But that is basically season 13. You know your Hadrix gifts. That is start, I'm obviously going Demon Hunter, so that is an amazing start for me. And... I will try my hardest to do curses and divinity. Divinity is obviously easy. But curses, I will definitely, definitely try that one. But yeah, thanks for watching this video. It says, hope you're all looking forward to season 13. It says, please like and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you on the next one.